So in this video, we're going to talk about transformations and all the different kinds of transformations that we can do to power functions. Now, for the transformations for this problem, we're going to start talking about and we're going to focus on transforming the cubic function. Um, so the original power function is drawn right here. This is f of x is equal to x cubed. And so all of the transformations that we're going to do, um, or a lot of them, are going to be based off of that cubic function. Now, what are transformations? Well, there's multiple. You can have reflections. Okay, so that can be over the x-axis. Helps if I spell axis right. Or the y-axis. All right. Um, we can also talk about um, translations, okay? So those are going to be your shifts, and you can shift horizontally or vertically, okay? And we also will talk about dilations, except I'm gonna spell it right, dilations. All right, um, and those are your stretches or compressions, okay? Stretches, compressions. And again, those can apply either vertically or horizontally. Now, there is another transformation that we don't cover much of, and we definitely won't cover it in um, the transformation forms that we're doing. Uh, you can also rotate. Okay, um, so we're not going to deal with rotations, but we're going to talk about reflections, translations, and dilations. So we're going to jump right into a bunch of examples, and in each case, what's going to happen is we are going to do a transformation. We're going to describe the translation, okay, and then we're going to talk about how the coordinates tra uh, change. So whether it changes X or Y, and then we're going to graph it, all right? So there's going to be a lot of things going on in these problems, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, so our first translation here, we're taking our function f of X, and we're adding 4 to it. So this transformation, all right, this is a vertical shift. Uh, actually, I'll use the correct word. It's a vertical translation up four units. Okay, so how will the coordinates change? If you're changing things vertically, your y values will change, not your x values. Okay, so let me actually write this correctly. So no change for x, okay, so whatever your x values are, they stay the same. And because we're translating up four units, we're going to add four to the y values. All right, so every time we're going to deal with these reference points, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, and one, one. So I'm going to leave my x values the same, so negative one. But now I'm going to take this y value and I'm going to add 4 to it. So negative 1 plus 4 makes 3. I'm going to do the same thing. Leave the x value alone. And now I'm going to add 4 to the y value. So 0 plus 4 is 4. I'm going to add, uh, leave the x value alone. Add 4 to the y value. So that's going to be 5. So now I'm going to graph this. So negative 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, and 1, 5. I mean, it's, it's almost going off the graph here. So what's going to happen is this graph is going to have the exact same curvature as the other graph, right, the one that was drawn there. It's just been shifted up. It's called a vertical translation. It's been translated up four units, okay? So that's problem number example one here, I guess. They're not numbered, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it to the right. And let's talk about m of x here. Okay, so m of x 
is f of x minus 3. So if we look at these two together, when we had f of x here and we added 4, this was a vertical translation up 4 units. Well, subtracting 3, if we describe this, this is going to be a vertical translation down 3 units. Okay, so how are the coordinates going to change? Well, there's no change for x because we are dealing with a vertical translation. And since we're translating down 3, we're going to subtract 3 from the y values. Okay, so no change for x. We have negative 1 here, no change for x would be 0, and no change for that would be 1. Now, for each of these y values, negative 1 here, 0, and 1, I'm going to subtract 3. So negative 1 minus 3 would be negative 4. 0 minus 3 would be negative 3. And then 1 minus 3, whoops, sorry about that, is negative 2. So now using those points, I'm going to graph the m of x function, okay? So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, 0, negative 3, and 1, negative 2. So now that I have my points, I can sketch in the curve. There we go. And I think I was supposed to label this, so let's go ahead and call that m of x. And I'm going to do the same thing for this other one. So I'm going to label it over here, m of x. Okay. So there's two examples, two translations, um, where you had a vertical translation up or a vertical translation down. Okay. So now let's go ahead and finish out this first page here. In this k of x function, okay, we have x minus 3, but it's inside the parentheses. This is directly attached to x. So when anything is directly attached to x, these are horizontal translations. Okay. Horizontal. Okay, and this is going to be a translation. Now, this is where it gets a little bit weird. It's the exact opposite of what you think it would be. So most people would look at this and say, oh, if we're doing it horizontally and it says minus 3, we must be moving to the left. And the answer is no, you're not. Um, the horizontal translations are always the opposite of what you think or the opposite of what's written. So minus 3 is actually going to turn into um, a horizontal shift right 3 units. Okay, so anything that's directly attached to x is kind of the opposite of what you think it would be. So somehow get that in your brain cells so it doesn't escape. All right, so you know when you're dealing with the horizontal stuff, it's kind of backwards. So how will the coordinates change? Well, if we're translating horizontally to the right three units, we're going to add three to the x values. Okay, now... Horizontal translations have absolutely no impact on your y values. So this is going to be no change for y. All right. So for each one of these points, I'm going to take the x values and I'm going to add 3 to it. So negative 1 plus 3 is going to be positive 2. Don't change the y value. 0 plus 3 is going to be 3. Don't change the y value. 1 plus 3 is 4. Oops. I, about to, I was about to change the y value. Don't do that. Uh, don't change the y value. All right. Now that I've got my points, I can graph them. So 2, negative 1, 3, 0, and 4, 1. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this little graph in here and here. So if you notice, the points didn't really, you know, they shifted, right? They translated to the 
uh, right, but they didn't get further apart from each other. They're the same exact points, okay? At least for this particular problem. Okay, so that was k of x. Let's go ahead and slide on over to, in this case, t of x. So we have this uh, change here. So describing the translation in words, this is going to be a horizontal translation left to. Again, it's the opposite of what we think it might be. So even though it says plus 2 when it's attached to that x like that, you've got to think the opposite. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be plus 2. Uh, it's going to move left. All right, so horizontal translation left 2. That means we're going to subtract 2 from the x values. And there's no change for y here. Okay. No change for y. Okay, horizontal translation left. So each one of these x values, I'm going to subtract 2 from it. So negative 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 3. Do not change the y value. 0 uh, subtract 2 is going to be negative 2. Don't change the y value. And then 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. Don't change the y value. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph it here. Negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, 0, and negative 1, 1. So a little curve here, a little curve there. All right, so those are the first couple of transformations. We have horizontal and vertical shifts or translations. I'm going to go ahead and close the video here and make up other videos for the other pages of this particular note sheet. I keep saying it, but I do mean it. If you have any questions or concerns, please send me a Canvas message or send